summer's morning, and off to in L.A. Slipped that one Doc Ellis, as he would later say. His girlfriend read the paper, she said, Doc, this can't be right. It says here that you're pitching in San Diego tonight. We got to get you to the ballpark, so off Doc Ellis flew. His legs were a little bit wobbly, and the rest of him was too. Took a taxi to the ballpark, an hour before the game. Gave a half-assed explanation, found the locker with a name. upper deck, played all the smallest he hits, you could hear it in the clubhouse, while Doc was getting dressed, his sunglasses reached for from his locker in the case, Doc Ellis put his jersey on, then he put them on his face, time came to go on out there, down the corridor, the walls were a little bit wavy and there were ripples in the floor, went out to the bullpen, do a bunch of stretches, loosen up a little, throw some warm up pitches, All rose for the national anthem, people took off their hats. The fireworks were exploding and the coats were already going flat. The doc was back there in the dugout, so many things to watch. Some players spit tobacco juice and others grabbed their crotch. And the umpire hollered, play ball, and so it came to be. The doc's pirates batted first, and then they went down one, two, three. The doc's catcher put his mask on and he handed Doc the ball, and it was 327 feet to the left and right field walls. Pirates took the field then, and Doc stood on the rubber. He bounced a couple of pitches, and he bounced a couple of others. You might say about that day that it looked a little wild. The leadoff batter trembled, and nobody knew why. Doc Ellis smiled. We well, walk eight and you hit a guy, all the things that people shout, especially the manager, but it did not take Doc out. Doc found himself a rhythm in a crazy little spin. Amazing things would happen when Doc Ellis zeroed in. Sometimes he saw the catcher, sometimes he did not. Sometimes he held a beach ball, and other times it was a dot. Doc was tossing comets that were leaving trails of glitter. In the seventh inning stretch, he still had a no-hitter. So it turns to cash, his buddy says, I've got a no-no going. Speaking the unspeakable, and he goes back out there throwing. About about the ninth, and he stood high upon the mound. Then the morale's to go and he'd have his name in Cooperstown. First up was Con Mazzaro, he flied out to a loo. Then Kelly grounded out for Dean in the shortstop field, that's two. Must have been a madhouse, fans upon their feet. Little old ones among them, standing on their seats. Well, that would have brought a purple, but a speezy old pinch hit. He took a third strike, looking in officially, that was it. It was a lovely summer's morning, an off day in LA. So thought one Doc Ellis. Later say